I'm going to try to talk loud so you can all hear me. But at 1.30 this afternoon, right here in Collect Pond Park, which is directly opposite of a New York County criminal court at 100 Center Street, where the trial of former President Trump is currently taking place, we observe a male walk into the park. He walks into the center of the park. When he's in the park, he starts shuffling around his clothes. He opens up a book bag. From the book bag, he takes numerous pieces of papers, uh, pamphlets out. He throws the pamphlets throughout the park, and then he pulls out a canister and pours some kind of liquid on himself, a liquid we believe is an accelerant, and he lights himself on fire. The male, he takes a couple of steps while he's on fire, and then eventually falls onto a police barrier and falls down to the ground. He's on fire. Uh, another area in the park where some of the accelerant spilt is also on fire. Civilians, court officers, members of the police department, they run into the park. Uh, they make efforts to put him out. They use their coats. They use fire extinguishers. Eventually, FDNY responds. We're able to uh, put the mail, extinguish the fire. And from that point, we remove him to a Cornell burn unit where right now he's there in a critical condition. At this, uh, at this moment, I'll let our fire commissioner talk about the condition of the mail and the condition of people who also helped and who are witnesses over there. Commissioner? Thank you. Uh, as the chief mentioned, the uh, victim is in critical condition but is alive and intubated at Cornell Burn Center. At this time, there were four, uh, three NYPD officers and one court officer, so four officers who had minor injuries from their exposure to the fire. They are all fine, they are stable, and they are green tags, which is minor at this time. Uh, we were on scene, as the chief mentioned. Um, EMS did treat and transport the patient, and we do have our fire marshals here helping with the investigation at this time. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.